Are you sick and tired of what you see in the mirror? Because whatever that you see in the mirror reflects of who you are as a person, your character. You know, it shows you that you lack self-discipline, you lack consistency, you lack mental strength, you lack um, love. Do you understand? And that is being overweight. You know, or let's be honest, overweight is abnormal. You know what I'm saying to you? Because that leads to many health issues. You know, and what health issues come, come up to? Uh, that comes to uh, where you got a stroke, heart attack, cancer, all these things like that. You know, and the way you are also perceived by people, by your friends and family, you can realize, yo, if they if they are overweight, they obviously they're gonna they, they will they will see it as uh, it's normal. But if they if they are in shape, they're not overweight, they're gonna look at they're gonna look at you, they're gonna look down on you. Like, yo, this guy doesn't respect himself on that. You know, this guy like mental strength, like like uh, self-love. That's the way they're going to view you. You know? So that is why. That is why it's time for you to wake up on that. That's why I'm making this video right now. It's time for you to wake up, you know? Because trust me, you don't want to suffer from these problems that obesity comes with. You don't want to suffer, you know? If you don't want to suffer, then you might as well turn off this video right now, man, and continue what you're doing on that. But if you truly want help on that, if you want someone to grab you by your hand and you're on the floor, grab you by your hand and get you back on your feet, and overcome uh, overcome this problem and be a, have a build a fit and strong body and look good and feel good. Then make sure to watch the video all the way to the end of that. So I'm gonna got show you the five steps on how you can overcome obesity for complete beginners. So the first step, the first step is uh, set clear goals. So let me give you an example. So what specifically do you want to? Uh, how much weight do you want to lose? You know. Is a one kg, two kg, three kg, whatever it is in that. Then you set, then you set a, 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 a realistic goal of where you want to achieve that by. In a four weeks, eight weeks, twelve weeks, obviously on a weekly basis, you are going to uh, uh, lose weight. Yes, I come from. Even on a daily basis, you to go to burn calories and lose weight in that. But so such about amount of weight, you know. So oh, you want to lose uh, five kg in in twelve weeks, for example. So it's got to be realistic. It's got to be specific, you know? It's got to be uh, achievable, you know? It can't be too big or realistic. Then you'll be overwhelmed and you're not, going to, you're not going to do it because you're overwhelmed by it. It's just too much, you know? It's a, uh, it's a time bound on that. Time bound, set a time. Set, set a, a, real, a realistic time of when are you going to achieve that by, you know? And before you know it, you've achieved it. You, you start to overcome obesity. But you have to set clear goals what you want. If you don't know what you want, then you can't progress to the next step. What I'm about to tell you right now. So, the next step here is eat whole foods. You see, you can try all you want. You, you, can, do, you, can, try, you can do our cardio. You can do all you want. But if you don't eat the right foods into your body, the problem st will still exist. You can't be working out, um, doing a positive thing here, and also put garbage into your body. That's fast food, chocolate, sweets, ice creams. That's what got you being overweight in the first place. So you have to you have to change that. You see, you have to change that. You have to go and change it because, as I say, you are what you eat. You've got to eat foods that nourish your mind, body, and spirit. That's making you look good and feel good. It's twenty percent working out and eighty percent diet. So you have to make sure that you got your diet on point. You have to make sure that you're eating, uh, eating. To, you make sure that you eat it to live, not to die. So what you want to be doing, eating in real whole foods. Or what I recommend personally is uh, eating legumes, beans, nuts, seeds, grains. That's what you want to be eating. Yeah, you, know, you can say that's a plant based diet, whatever but you follow. But I said if you want to uh, lose weight uh, faster, burn fat, then uh, I recommend the plant based diet. And that's what I recommend. You know what I'm saying to you? So you want to be eating legumes, beans, what I just said basically. That's what you want to be eating, the foods you want to focus on eating. That's when you go to, you're going shopping, that's what you need to be eating. That's what you need to be uh, buying. You know, because when it comes to your macronutrients, the protein, uh, uh, carbs, and fat. You got your, you got your macronutrients because of fat. You got your, your vitamins and minerals, your micronutrients. You know that's what they get for your fruits and fruits and vegetables. And the protein because of fat. The protein you get for your legumes and beans. 
the uh, complex carbs you get from your um, uh, what you call it from your uh, grains from your grains your from your um, your quinoa your uh, sweet potatoes your brown rice that's where you get it from and your uh, healthy fats you get from your avocados your nuts and your seeds that's what you want to be eating before I show you the, the blueprint the blueprint of uh, uh, create a customized workout meal for you, a workout program for you to overcome obesity. Then uh, I'm a, a way called then join my uh, community in that the infant potential community, like my people who are, that want to get into the best of their life. Click the link in the description. That, that game below because I'm gonna, if I'm gonna break it down. I'll be the video gonna be for hours. Just now go for. Like let's give you a brief uh, overview. Those are foods that need to be eaten in that. You know what I'm saying to you? Because when you see food is information, when you eat a healthy food, yeah, you're gonna look good and feel good. Just like going for it, you're gonna be full of energy. But if you eat poor foods, if you eat uh, poor foods, yeah, then guess what? Guess what's happening? Then you are poisoning your mind, body, and spirit. That's what you're doing when you're eating poor food because food is information. If we don't just eat, we don't just we don't just eat to uh, satisfy our stomach. We eat. We eat here to uh, know it to uh, we eat here to uh, determine how we think, feel, act, and behave. That is why that's what why uh, that's the what we get from eating, you know. So also when we are uh, when we are uh, uh, eating food, whether that we our life is dependent on the quality of fuel that we fuel our body. So if we eat poor foods, then our life won't last long. Uh, biological scientific has been proven if we if we eat it to live instead of eating to die then uh we will live a happy and long life that the chance of living a happy long life is very high that's why it's so important to uh, to take care of yourself take care of your temple this is in the bible even otherwise god will destroy it so that is the, the that is what it comes down to uh eating whole foods the third thing is portion control you want to control your portion sizes and how you do that is eating from a smaller plate. You eat from a big plate, you are 9 out of 10, you are going to eat all that plate on the food. Yes, sir. And that's it, especially if you really enjoy the food as well, you're going to eat the whole food. But if you eat it from a smaller plate, all that, all you're going to eat is what's in front of you. You're not going to eat, you're not going to finish that plate and go and get another plate, go and add more food on top and eat. You're not going to do that. Very unlikely. You, whatever that eats in front of you, you're going to eat that. Once it's done, that's it. That's that is of you discipline yourself not to go uh, not to go overboard with uh, eating food and that even if it's healthy you've got to eat a certain amount of calories and that just like going from if you eat too much where you're f full bloated then you're not going to lose weight you can say exactly the same that's why you're overweight by that because you're overeating you know the Prophet Muhammad peace of peace be upon him said that it's uh, one fed water one fed air and uh, one fed food that's a perfect balance of that so there's you're always going to be you're going to be full uh but you get energy and you're able to function uh, properly but if you eat too much of that then then, then you you feel tired you feel sluggish you you're thinking accurately physically uh physically uh, you're, you're you're tired you feel heavy on your feet you know and that that's what you don't want that that means you're not healthy do you understand? As I say, anything, anything of a good thing, too much of a good thing, it's not good for you. That's exactly the, that's exactly the example uh, that, just, that I just gave you. In that. You know what I'm saying to you? So control your portion sizes and that. So whatever big place you have, get it out of the way. Get it out of sight. Make sure that you cannot see it. Only have only use small plates. Or that you can open a cupboard, or you see small plates, that's it. You know? And follow that discipline. And follow that discipline, you will see over time that you will lose your weight. You know what I'm saying? Sooner or later, you will get lean, mean, and shredded. For, uh, step four is to increase uh, physical activity. So start with physical activity. And the easiest way, that, the easiest way they can do here, yeah, I recommend you, is doing walking 10K steps a day. 10K steps a day. That's the easiest, easiest one you can do right now. You know, as you get started your fitness, your fitness journey, easiest way you can do right now, go uh, get, get one of those watches. And it shows you how much you're walking. Once you, step, once you walk 10k steps, that's it. That's your workout complete. That's a burn fat and burn, cal burn calories. You do that, you're losing that. Do that every morning, whatever, whatever time that you feel comfortable, based on your schedule. 
That's what I'll be doing 10 cases a day. I can tell you to, to do weight training and do cardio, X, Y, Z, and I, yeah. But you are, this is for complete beginners. If you're a complete beginner, you'd never work out in life. You got little to no experience of training. Then 10 cases a day is optimal now. You know what I'm saying to you? That's what you do. That's what you need to do. But you walk all the time. That's what we do all the time. Walking naturally without thinking about it. So, yeah. So, um, yeah, so keep, so do something, something with physical activity. That's how you go burn fat and burn calories. That's how you go look good and feel good. You know, the, the nutrition and workout goes hand in hand. You just start going from you work out to tear the muscles down, you know, to tear the body down, and then you eat the fuel to recover your body. So, you understand, that's how it works. So, increase your physical activity. Uh, and the last step is stay hydrated. Stay hydrated. So, uh, the human body contains seventy percent water. You know that's what it shows that everywhere we go, what all of our brain, over all almost all water. So, what what's gonna do is gonna help control your appetite and metabolism. You know, and that's that's not going to make you indulge into overeating. When when you are when you are Friday day, you're consuming, um, you're drinking water. Throughout the day, you understand. And what we, uh, what, what you want to do? Don't just don't don't just drink water by itself. Plain water, no. That's not that's not optimal for hydration. What you want to take is uh, what you want to take here is um, what you call Celt a Celtic sea salt, Celtic sea salt. That's how I pronounce it. A Celtic sea salt. Yeah, I'll link it. I'll link it in the description so you can uh, you can get it. And uh, what you call it? Uh, you, uh, you get a pinch of salt, put it on your tongue, and then drink the water. That's what I, that, that's where you get your electrolytes from. That's where you hydrate because the electrolytes. That's where your cells need electrolytes: magnesium, zinc, magnesium, zinc, uh, and uh, what you call it, uh, and potassium. I think mean, potassium. I think is it. Uh, those if you, if you nutrients and that. That's where your cells need. That's how you hydrate. That's how you get energy. You focus from that. That's why you're hydrated. Just playing water by itself and that, it's not, it's not an optimal hydration and that. I'm saying you need your nutrient because your body is made up of 102 minerals. So it's very important to, uh, to, to uh, have your electrolytes, which is, a, which is a Celtic sea salt. Very important. You know what I'm saying? So, um, uh, so yeah, so that is uh, five. And the way you can, not just water, you can hydrate yourself. You can also eat fruits. Fruits are very powerful, even more uh, superior, better than drinking plain water. Because it's even better. It's uh, it's fruits. I recommend watermelon, like mangoes, papayas, grapes, like your berries. All these fruits and that. That's what we eat because they're low in calories. They're part of antioxidants. They're rich in fiber, so it gives you long-lasting energy and keeps you fuller for longer as well. Um, where it's going to help you protect your immune system, protect from illness and diseases. So it's very important to be eating your food. But that's the one. Of, that's the one of the most uh, healthiest things you can consume as well. You know what I'm saying to you? It's a no-brainer. It's low in calories. You know, it only does harm, not good. Only does good, not harm. So yeah. Um, that's pretty much the end of the video. Now, these are the five steps. Five steps in that you follow this religiously, consistently, uh, consistently in that, and never give up. Over a period of time, you will overcome obesity. You're starting your journey of overcome obesity now. Because of course we self we have to start crawling, then uh, then uh, then we fall, and then we walk. So uh, that's the step by step process to overcome obesity in that. You understand? So make sure to share with your friends and family. Anyone that you know is sort of uh, being overweight, wants to lose weight, and that. Uh, share this video with them and that uh, so they can apply the steps here yeah, to overcome obesity. You know? So um, make sure to break the algorithm by smashing that like button, hit that share button, comment down below, let me know anything, what content, what content you want to see next. You know? And uh, wait, uh, uh, yeah, and also I will do a part two. To this video on that, you know what I'm saying? So I'll guide you, give you the whole blueprint so you can overcome obesity and live a happy, fulfilled, and long life on that, man. So I thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Peace, love, and blessings.